Texas Savages and the Mesquite Gators. Uh, the score is 45 27. Uh, when we come back in the next year, we'll get some messages from the head coaches. Let's see you guys here. Right now our score is 13 to 22 and the NTX Huskies are sweating. We'll be back with you right after this. This is Danielle Rogers and the Texas Rep have just bit in the dust. Thank you. Good to know. DFTV and I'm here in Dallas. I am model, teacher, and announcer, and I'm going to be covering for you this exciting game that we will be watching today. Reporting with DFTV. I am born and raised in DFW, love my town, love my city. My husband and I have five kids. I'm a proud Jamie Styles model, so look for me on Instagram, Hannah underscore DFW underscore Hannah. You can also find me on Facebook. And we'll see you after this short message. About my home state, which is Texas. You know, the interesting thing about it is Texas is one of the largest states in America. Were you aware that you can go from the tip of Texas down to the bottom of Texas and it's further than driving from Dallas to California? Most people was not aware that that was such a large distance. It takes you longer to drive from the tip of Texas to the other tip as it do from Texas to Florida. That's your tip for the day. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm. we do this. Yeah. yeah. From um, the to the mountains of the Carpathians in Ukraine, um, in Ukraine, to the beauty pageant podium uh, in South Korea. I am here to let you give you one important tip. It's not the prettiest person who wins. It's the most prepared person who wins. And here we are at the game and we're looking forward to the most prepared team to win today. They have to put good defense, they have to work on being offensive and to keep that pressure on another team. And it's cool. <laughs> Graduate from Mesquite to Sinet to Rockwall. Um, I have offers from Baylor and Arkansas and I'm looking to graduate from Mesquite to Net to Rockwall. My passion is journalism and I have offers from Baylor and Arkansas. DF Network, speaking on my early graduate, I went from Mesquite to Stinet to Rockwall and then ended up graduating in a online homeschool program. I have offers from Baylor in Arkansas and uh, my passion is journalism. I'd like to continue my education in journalism. See? Not that rough, but close enough, right? Because now, here's me. She's really strong. Yeah. <laughs> no. It's like here, even though I don't have a lot of pressure on me, I can still control it. Mm -hmm. I like to move it gently, but I just, for years, I've learned how to use my voice. So, Madison. So, Madison. Automatic. It's a dog. <laughs> so, Dad. Yeah. You are too excited. All right. So, I hear you're one of the, the team veterans on the. Uh, the uh, Golden Ring. I mean, exactly. And she had pause because by pausing, she's like, wait for it, wait for it. She's thinking. And then I, and I look away. But by the time I get here, I'm back in control. I'm in control. And my hand is barely on her, but she knows I'm touching her. But she pulls away. She always pulls away. So, but this right here, she knows right now. She's, she's like, no one sees that but me and her. So, Madison, uh, you know, uh, you see, you see, you learn it as you do it more. Because you think about it, you got these players, they got the pads on, do they really feel your hand? No, not really. So, your movement is going to be crucial. Brian, you need to have a good, hold on. Ready? And we're going to talk to you today about tattoos. Okay. It's not on the outside, no, it's not. It's what's on the outside. Yeah. Having tattoos doesn't mean you're a bad person. It doesn't mean that you're any different. I have tattoos everywhere. I'm such a good person. <laughs> okay, I guess. At broadcasting with DFTV, wanted to take a moment to talk about one of the most recent model issues I had. It was at a park in Richardson, the Breckenridge Park. If you haven't checked it out, you should. That was an amazing photographer, Maya, with action. Friends.